Hi friends, I hope you're having a wonderful day. Grace and I have been having a wonderful snow day today. Grace has killed three snowmen so far and I've had five cups of coffee. So we're both ready to go inside and get to work. Today we're going to be starting Fox Club and Sweet William. These are both first year flowering Fox Club and Sweet Williams. But before we do that, I thought I would go ahead and show you what some of my cool flower seedlings look like buried under the snow. I'm sometimes asked about covering cool flowers. <laughs> Here comes Grace. She loves the snow so much. I don't cover any of my cool flowers anymore and I actually think you couldn't even pay me to cover them. We just generally get a lot of snow, rain, and ice, and I find that the row covers for me here personally are really problematic. We get down into the single digits, so everything that I'm going to show you today is able to survive all of the elements that you see around me, and also single digit temperatures. I think the lowest that I've tracked is seven degrees Fahrenheit. So let's go ahead and pull back the snow and see some cool flower seedlings. And as we look at these seedlings, I'll also put the winter survival temperature for all of these cool flowers. So if you need that for reference, you can know exactly what temperature these seedlings can survive down to because they're all a little bit different. So here in the hydrangea room, we have both feverfew and foxglove. So let's go ahead and uncover some of those. So here we have our feverfew. And then you can see a little damage to the foxglove leaves, but they're fine. More foxglove buried under the snow here. And we had six inches of snow previous to this one. So you can see they're even covered under ice. So I hope that's helpful to see too. Also buried under here somewhere, I do have some sweet William. So let's see if I can find that. Oh, there it is. There it is, it even has a bloom on it. So this is the Sweet Series. This is the purple white bicolor. And today we're gonna to be doing the Amazon Series, which blooms just a little bit later than the Sweet Series. Now let's head over to the driveway garden. I know I have Larkspur, Orlea, and Dara over there. They're kind of all intermixed, but I'll at least try to unveil one of those. They look somewhat similar, actually. They all kind of have a carrot-like foliage. Here, here comes Grace. <laughs> She's just running all over the place. I can't keep up with her. But let's go ahead and try to find some Larkspur at least. I really love what the driveway garden looks like covered in snow. Okay, I was able to find some Larkspur. So you can see how tiny that is, and it's just fine buried under all the snow. I'm actually gonna go ahead and just cover it back up. It's really hard to find anything over in the driveway garden right now because it just looks like a white blanket of snow. But we also have Orlea grandiflora, Dara or Dacus carata, I think is how you say that. We have the Larkspur, and I do have some snapdragons in that garden as well. So at this time in the year, in February, the only seeds that I'm starting are cool flowers. Anything that I want to grow as a hardy annual, that I want to function as a hardy annual or a cool flower, I start those right now. And I start the things that take the longest to establish into a usable transplant first. So so I currently have four trays of snapdragons. And so now let's add on to that foxglove and sweet William. Johnny's recommends only buying the amount of pelleted seed that you need each year because they say that it doesn't store as well as seed that is not pelleted. So I only bought 50 of each of these varieties. They're both surface sown, so I'll just drop one pelleted seed in each cell. Pelleted seed also makes it so much easier to see exactly where the seed is laying, especially with these really tiny seeds. And since these are supposed to be surface sown, I like to just press them into the surface of the soil so that there's still good seed to soil contact, even though we're not covering them with soil. I'm gonna spray the cells down with water to help break down that seed coating. I've got these on heat mats right now. I'll put a humidity dome on them. 
The sweet william should germinate in about a week. The foxglove will take a little bit longer. Sometimes it takes even two weeks. As soon as they sprout, I'll get them under my lighting system. I don't have all my lights up here at the moment, but you can see I brought the ranunculus upstairs because they've sprouted. I also have some snapdragons down here and they are really teeny tiny at the moment, but you can see most of them have sprouted at this point. And I use fluorescent lights, so my lights are always about one inch from the seedling leaf canopy. I also have a major garden library update to share with you, but I'm going to wait one more week to share what the inside looks like. But when I saw what Josh did in there, I thought I was literally going to pass out. I've never seen anything so original. Well, friends, thanks so much for spending some time with me today. I can't wait to share this garden library update with you. And I also have some new garden furniture I'm gonna share in that video. And as soon as all this snow starts, we will start on the deck extension because what I wanna do is have the deck meet my grandma's garden over here on the right-hand side of the garden. But we just need some warmer temperatures to get started on that. But for now, I wanna wish you a wonderful day out there in your gardens and Grace and I will see you sometime soon. Bye.